I S U P K. Hey, Shalom, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Command of Journey Island in California, man. To all blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You're going to learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Shalom. is swept up in the frenzy that our people been feeling, man. Black people been taken to the streets marching because they see the injustice, man. They see how black men get murdered in the streets. They see all of these horrible things happening to our people, but there's something that our people always miss. There's something that's so very careful, very important that our people miss. And that is, if we do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, then God himself will put us to death. Right. That's the most important thing nobody tells our people. With the brothers explaining, the Christian church and Christianity is the worst drug in the black community. That's right. That notion that Martin Luther King gave our people, telling us to love and join hands with our oppressor, is the reason we became drug dealers. Right. Like the Godfather, right. like Scarface. It's the reason we became gangsters, like the Italian Mafia. It's the reason we became murderers, like our oppressors. It's the reason that brothers started having sex with sisters and throwing them away, like Playboy and Marilyn Monroe, treating our sisters like whores. It's the reason that sisters started aborting their babies, thanks to Margaret Sanger and the Negro Project, following civil rights leaders. Telling us to hold hands with our oppressors. Telling us to love the daughters and the sons of our slave masters. That is why we died in America. That is why we number one on drugs. Number one in prison. Number one with AIDS. The white lady even understand, man. Black man, you have to understand. The first law of nature is self-preservation. And we cannot survive as a people if all of the love that we have available goes to white people, right. goes to Africans, right. goes to Arabs, right. goes to Asians. Right. There's no love left for black people in the black community. Right. That's why we killing each other all in Northeast, all in Southeast, all in Detroit and Chicago. And here is what God said about it. Give me Deuteronomy real quick. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. This notion that we're supposed to join all people together, we are the only race of people in the entire United States that believes that all people should come together. The Chinese believe in being separate. And because of the Chinese belief about being separate, China, a communist country, has a Chinatown right here in the nation's capital. Where's the Negro section of Washington, D.C.? Right. It used to be Barry Farms. Right. What happened to Barry Farms? Where's the Negro section of Northwest? It used to be Sarsom Quarters. What happened to Sarsom Quarters? Right. It's gone. It's gone. They took it because Martin Luther King and these civil rights leaders and these Christian preachers told us to join America. Right. That is against God, man. Right. Read what the Lord said. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. God said what? Neither shall thou make 
marriages with them. God forbid blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans for making marriages with other nations of people. A covenant, a friendship. If you are black, Hispanic, or Native American, we are forbidden from taking the culture, taking the religions, joining their society, being friends with them. We are forbidden from joining another nation of people. Their custom is to be a drug dealer. That's how we got it. Their custom is to be a homosexual and a lesbian. That came from the white man. That came from our oppressors. And because we did not obey God and we chose to join our oppressors, now black men number one with AIDS, being homosexuals. Black men number one with breast cancer and all kind of ovarian cancers. 60 million, what is it, 60 million abortions since Roe versus Wade, since Jesse Jackson told us to join with America and stop just being Negro and become an Afro-American. Right. Now we 60 million dead black babies in the hole thanks to integration. That's why our neighborhoods are gone, thanks to integration. That's why it's no more black business in the black neighborhood, thanks to integration, and it's against God. Keep reading. Call him one come. Thy daughter, thou shalt not give unto his son. Don't take your black daughter and allow her to marry Brad Pitt. Don't take your Hispanic or Native American daughters and allow them to lay down with an Arab or an African or an East Indian or a white man. That's against God. Keep going. Call him one come. Nor, nor his daughter shall take Thou take unto thy son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. The Lord forbid interracial marriages. He forbid us from voting. He forbid us from begging our oppressors to join America. America was never made for black people. Black people died trying to be an American. Black children in Southeast murder each other trying to be an American like Andrew Jackson like George Washington, like Thomas Jefferson's mass murderers. That's who our people look up to. You understand? Any more on that? Take me to verse 10. Here's the part that nobody thinks. Here's the important part. Brothers and sisters in D.C. been hearing us say this for years, for decades, back when D.C. was all black, back before black people started to get into voting and become a Democrat and Republican and took the white man's mollies and his Percocets and his heroin and his crack and his weed and his integration and his homosexuality and his Christianity. This was an all black city. But each generation got weaker and weaker and weaker until black men want to be black women right now. Until black women want to be black men right now. Until black children don't respect and murder everybody right now. And it's the fault of these Christian preachers. It's the fault of the preacher telling us to love America. Here is what God's response is to us disobeying him. Verse 10, and repayeth them that hate him to their face. God does what? Repayeth them that hate him to their face. The brother said that love is to keep God's commandments. So if we decide that God's commandments are irrelevant, and you are a black, Hispanic, or Native American, and you want to go now and lay down with your slave master's daughter, what is God going to do to you? Repay them that hate him to their face. Tiger Woods is going to lose half a billion dollars in endorsements. Right. O.J. Simpson going to do 10 years in prison. Right. Black boys is going to get locked up on false charges from whoring white cheerleaders saying that he touched me like the Central Park Five. That's what's going to happen to our people because we integrated against God's orders. Read it again. And repay them that hate them to their faith. I know they love the LGBT community in Washington, D.C. Very popular. All over Washington, D.C. All of that. Don't you realize that's against the Lord? Don't you realize why you marched to help your lesbian cousin get rights to marry her best friend, you also march to help child molesters molest children and not have to go to jail for it? Right, right. Didn't you read the Bible on Sodom and Gomorrah? That was the LGBT capital of the world. Right. And it was filled with transsexuals, cross-dressers, child molesters, right. and rapists. Right. That's what was in your LGBT utopia. 
That's what you march for. That's what your rainbow on your shirt is for. And you beg God for it. And you went against God's orders. And you went against the prophets God set up. And what did the Lord say? And repay them that hate him to their faith. This is bigger than just getting AIDS. AIDS wasn't enough. Black people being number one in AIDS on the entire goddamn planet was not bad enough. Now, the child molesters going to get full rights to your children and you won't be able to stop them. Now, they're going to say you speak in hate if you don't want a pastor or some grown child molester to touch your little boy. They're going to let a grown man in a dress confuse this hell a full sexual deviant in the bathroom at school with your goddamn children. That's what the LGBT community got you. That's what Jordan the white man got us. That's what your folks got you. That's what our protest got us. That's what vote or die got us. Thanks to Martin Luther King. Thanks to Martin Luther King. Your children are more danger than ever, than ever in the black community. Now that your friend can marry his friend, now that your friend who need counseling being molested as a child and end up on crack and weed, he don't need weed legalized. He need to come and get counseling from the prophets of God so that we can save that brother or that sister's life. That's why God destroyed America. America that had their foot on our necks for 400 years and God is destroying it. God gonna send more coronaviruses. God gonna destroy this economy. All of these Chinese shops gonna be closed. Your governments closed. Your schools closed. You gonna have to watch your own kids again. You're not going to be able to call 911 to fix the problems in your community. You're going to have to fix it. Right. Ain't no white man coming into your black community to fix your black problems. That's We're going to have to stop beating a tambourine, take the skinny jeans off, right. stop getting high, stop voting, stop begging another race of people to fix our problems and have a family meeting and deal with the problems we have amongst ourselves only. And it starts by getting in the eyes of K, man. Keep trying. My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain and a lot of sorrow got betrayed. So packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit That's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire Trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword With a